Hello guys, I'm back in South Texas. It's been a long, long day. Rained a lot today. Hope everybody's doing good. My uh, mother bag, bag number two. I've got a list. I don't have it right in front of me. But, uh, <clears throat> I got to put stuff back in it. So things, you know, like salt, pepper, seasoning, stuff like that. I've got some more oatmeal. I can add oatmeal to it. Rotate it out. That's what I'm doing. Kind of making a little list. And my, uh, Polly. They usually have a big sheet of poly, the real thick poly. Don't know where I use that. I used it for something, but anyway. I'm going to go through here. From time to time, I dig in the first aid kit, and I utilize some things from time to time in these bags, and yet I don't put it back. So, uh, this here is plenty shot. Nothing fancy. Pretty good at that. I'm pretty good. This angle here, not like this. I do better this way. <clears throat> it's been a good one. I've used it several times. I shoot it, uh, different things sometimes just not aiming at it and I've scared myself sometimes because I've gotten real close when <laughs> I scared a mini squirrel same thing with my throw stick I'll find it some more fire starter materials got magnesium got some uh, cedar shavings in it uh, you know I'm around Got a big cedar tree in the backyard. Some tape. That's what I use for medicine. Over the counter. Got Tylenol. Antacids. Vitamins. Ibuprofen. I have been through this. I'll probably throw in some more ibuprofen and stuff. Just little things. First aid kit I went through there and I had some uh, ore gel. I need some ore gel. And I'm not sure if I even put it back in here. Earplugs. Any construction company provide these free of charge. Some have got a little string on, some don't. Doesn't matter. You need earplugs. Wind. You have to use a firearm. There's one that's got all the line on it. This is, I have packed this thing up. I've got some more meds. See, I put aspirin, non aspirin. real aspirin just an array of things that I put in there hand sanitizer gauze pad tape in fact I need alcohol prep pads and I've got some new stuff I've had I've got friends in different areas that do the first aid kit replenishing and if they have a, a first aid kit that just trashed out the products are still good but when they restock they can't jam all them loose end pieces in there and they really technically don't use them they not a company policy so you know I'm fortunate that 
from time to time I can get a bulk of that trash bag. Always good to have trash bag. This is my, uh, you see my other bags. They have P38s and the, this is I've had for years. You can tell I have used this and it's very, very good one. Never let me down. Cigarette lighter. Waterproof matches. They're wax. I restocked them from other matchbooks. They work good. Something I had in here. And that's what tells me that I've got to go back in here. In fact, that person uh, gave me a bunch of stuff. Towelettes and aseptic towel towels. These are from restaurants and stuff. Keep your hands clean. Sometimes I just shove this stuff in there, and I've got to to rotate it out. Antiseptic towelettes, moist things here. Yeah, I haven't been keeping up with my stuff that good, but I still have everything. Moist, it's more antiseptic towelettes stuff in here. Always got yo yo's. They also work as a, an alert system, like a trip line, fishing line. Got this for probably less than a dollar. Walmart clearance. Another yo yo. Toothpaste. I gotta put all this stuff back, guys. Honey, I gotta go through it. This is uh, come out of a. Uh, I'm gonna get one of those. I still got some that haven't been opened. It's survival little canisters, water purification tablets, and uh, capstick. Still in the bag. Lotion from Motel. What right, best Western? Wire ties come in handy hand warmers they're not hard they still feel good hand warmers this here is a uh, shampoo from uh, quality in a little bit of hygiene here's a button you got the BDU pants stuff like that that's the kind of buttons. I had an old pair that tore up and I saved the buttons off of it. Got a paper clip in here. Here's a fishing, kind of like a trot line material and a fishing line hook, weights. Snap, got some different size hooks in there. I kind of gotta watch what I put my hands in these things. Another, remember another backpack, a bunch of sewing needles. Clippers. You gotta have clippers. I mean, I do. I don't know about y'all, but I gotta keep my. Oh, excuse me. This line come out of a uh, off a feed bag where they thread it in there and seal the bag I pull it just right pull out a whole big line that stuff's strong if you got a 50 60 pound bag of feed that is strong stuff 
All right, let's see here. That's all in that bag. I wonder why I do this to myself. Remember I showed y'all the second knife I ever bought? This is the very first knife I own. This one. That I bought for hunting and fishing and Rambo and Chuck Norris and everything you can imagine. I have conquered it with this knife <laughs> and the other one. And it is razor sharp. And I keep it. It's good knife. It, it's always, I put it through baton and everything else. It done me just fine. Gloves. I had a bunch of these. And if I tell you what, them things are good. Good gloves. And these, I don't think I even, I don't know if I use these or not, but they're tough. They're made by Best, made in the USA. That's why I bought them. I bought them because they're cheap. Flashlight. <clears throat> if you remember me showing y'all, I left one on for six, eight hours, and it was still lit up, and I haven't even done this. This here, you unlock it, and you charge it. You have to be careful when you lock that because if you push it and it, the lock is engaged, it'll break out a little deal in it, but it still works. It just sticks out. These were little or nothing on uh, eBay. Brother-in-law got a bunch of these. And uh, I've got these things laying around everywhere. So, okay, let me try to keep this stuff separate. Yeah, you can only imagine how much you can get in these bags. I tell you, put that there, flashlight, glow sticks, love these things. Low stick there. I think there is four, four of these in there. I like this color here because it lights up better than them blue, red, green, orange. One time I found some white ones. And I don't have them anymore because I use them. This is uh, called... Uh, this is a supplement, fruit flavor. It's a water. You add it to water. And it's called a uh, trim stick. It's a dietary supplement. Like I say, you know, you drink water, drink water. It, it really gets boring. And I talk about comfort foods. But I'm also talking about stuff like this. Add a little flavor to your life, to your water. Add a little flavor, flavor to your food, seasoning. <coughs> Straw. Get down them little areas. Got them little pockets in a tree. Clean that out regularly. If you're out somewhere. And uh, heavy dew and fog and moisture in the air and rain. You know, it's a little catch system. Keep it cleaned out. And you can use this to get it out. You don't have to try to 
put it in another container because you won't you lose most of it. Cart has been in this bag since I've had this bag. So this uh, is an okay saw. I'm not going to whittle and do a Picasso on a piece of wood. I'm going to cut into it just enough where I can break it off. <coughs> I've got that machete and that tomahawk or that axe I can use. I keep it with me. Doesn't matter what bag I got. I still got that stuff with me all the time. Frog gig. All right, I'm back. I had to cough my head off. Aluminum foil. Pretty stiff stuff. Boy. Rag. <coughs> Excuse me. Been raining and stuff and crud going on here. <coughs> you remember that uh, this is uh, a U.S. deep spoon, U.S. fork, I need to clean that, I don't remember using that, knife, U.S., and it is sharp, I keep it in a rag, Keep it from rattling so bad and everything, you know, when you're walking or running or wet ones are still wet. You always good to have. I got some of these. Uh they're bath. Kinda like wax, but they're bath. Can't tell you where I got the Take some of them out, put them in double Ziploc bag, and then you can clean yourself without having a bottle of soap, which I do have, but anyway, that's that pouch. Ooh, hope I make it through this video. Been on the road way too much here lately. Okay, well, good stuff, doesn't have a lot of memory, but it holds a knot pretty good, and uh, I wrapped that up, and to be honest with you, I don't think I could wrap it up that good again, so, but I did it one time, back when I practiced knots and stuff like that all the time, underwear, Alright, I gotta keep this stuff. I'm gonna try to keep it separate. Okay. Shower liners. Get them for little or nothing. Make a good poncho, make a good little shelter. Put it over your frame of your shelter. Good to have. Trash bags. Heavy duty contractor trash bags. I got about a week's worth of underwear and socks in here. These are just some old socks that came in a bag they threw away years ago at a homeless shelter place. They had access as brand new. And uh, I don't like these, but I got them if I need them. I can make them. Cover up my ears, make a cap out of them. Strain water before I boil it. Strain all the chunky grass and everything out of it. Ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. <coughs> I 
ramen noodles and I may yeah I took one bag out and used it <clears throat> made to use pants that's the one that I used to do stuff in that's the last pair I bought while I was doing certain drills and stuff safety glasses These are the yellow, amber, whatever. These are shades. I don't remember where I got this, but I really enjoyed having it. Rice, yellow, rice. Good to have. That's a pair of socks I used to wear. And I washed them before I put them back in the bag. This is the uh, cook set. And, you know, I've killed y'all this before, but... You gotta go through and refresh, you know. Lid, lid, little cup, measuring cup, it's got different measurements on it. I remember the last time this was the song going to get out. This is a pot here, in case some of y'all hadn't seen it. One of those lids fits it. I don't use that one as much as I do this one. Just the right side for me. You know, make coffee and stuff like that. You can tell it's been used. One of those lids fits that as well. Skillet. I've used this one. And I tell you what, I had to forever to clean that bottom of that thing. It was black all the way around this thing. And a uh, little skillet does good. That don't fit in there, does it? It fits on that one. I'm trying to remember which one. Uh, let's see here. That one don't. Well, I don't guess this one got a lid. I've never used a lid try to anyway so but I've used this quite a few times always good to have a little cook set it doesn't matter to me what size it is And there it is. It goes right in this little bag. And cinch it up. Good, good pot and pan. Skillet. That's good there. These little bags, they got holes in them where they used to put stuff on the hooks in the store. But uh, down, you know, it's up here. A little hole there. But it'll hold water. Down below that, so. Man. I am fit to be tied. There's a list I used to have, a, a detailed list of each compartment. Another list. This is emergency. 
you've seen that before in other bags i had a ton of that stuff this here is the uh i use these for like alcoholic drinks and stuff but you add that to some of your dishes like your ramen noodles uh stuff like that it's really good flavor it's really good i was I run across a bunch of that one time. Couldn't tell you what. These are closed line. Put your closed line through there. I got it somewhere. You hook it tied around, you hook it together. I hear it right here. That right there. A lot of rope right there. Where'd that go? You won't have this stuff all messed up. I've heard you see it's a condiments. It's got sugar, salt, pepper, creamer, stuff in it. I've heard you see. I hate raspberry. But that's all I had in there. So it's better than nothing. That leak that uh Stuff leaked out one time. Closed line. Never open it. Never use this one. I've used another rope. Another list. And oh boy, I gotta put all this back in here. I'm already dreading it. Boy. Dollar Tree rope for a dollar. I think. I won't say there's two or three of these. You know me and rope. You gotta have rope. Did I say rope? You gotta have rope. This I found. I found a couple of these in the mud. By a dumpster. And these. Come. Well, see, I clean these up. I like to never got. You put your stuff in there. Your tarp, poly, shower curtain liner. And you cinch it up. What it does is, when that separates, that right there will come apart, will move forward. You put a rope in here, it keeps that closed. And you can pull without having to do the rock and the tie string on poly and stuff like that. <laughs> Pretty cool. One of the belts. Here's the other one I found. I found two of them. I just happened to see one of them sticking up. I'm like, what is that? Roll that wire, Dollar Tree, three, three rolls for a dollar. And that is it, folks. Now that I've got everything thrown out on the table, I guess I might have to put it back here tonight. I got my other bag of backup, though, so I could. Always check your bags, make sure everything's good. Uh, I want to rotate out the ramen noodles. I'm going to try to get some more seasonings. Add a little bit more, add a little bit more seasoning to both bags. I got to rotate out and do up some uh, oatmeal in that one. And this bag here, I've got to add a soup and some oatmeal to it because I do remember I took out the oatmeal and that's it when I was here what was that about a year ago when I was showing this bag I tried that peach nasty it wasn't any good I tried there was about two year old maple brown sugar oatmeal just fine it, it didn't taste stale or anything 
so but uh always go take your stuff out check it out uh i'm still trying to find my sharpening stone i got a big one a nice one and i can't find it anywhere my knives are getting dull so i'm probably gonna have to go find a knife store somewhere and get one can't buy them at walmart harbor for eight they're just they turn to powder doesn't matter if you get them wet or they, they just ain't any good they're not any good at all so don't waste your money on that don't waste your money at a harbor freight uh magnesium flint steel don't do that well hope everybody's doing good uh check out uh I have to do another video. So can't think of the name after they're doing a next week two weeks they're doing a deal giving away some like a free survival stuff. Only reason I, and all you gotta do is comment on what you do with the stuff. You watch the video, it shows you stuff that was given to that group by someone else, one of their fans. And, uh, <clears throat> what they're gonna do is turn around and they're doing a the giveaway. They're gonna give that stuff away to someone. And, uh, all you gotta do is reply in the comments and thumbs up you gotta be a subscriber i've been a subscriber with them for a while and uh look in the comments put down what would you do with that stuff i put down what i would do with that stuff and it's not for me it's for someone else i don't need any of that stuff but i know someone that i'm going to continue building a bug out bag for could could use that would need that so anyway guys uh thanks for watching uh last i checked still got 14 subscribers thank every each and every one of you uh, like i say when you subscribe please comment a thumbs up or something so i can acknowledge you subscribe if not, I haven't found a way to find my subscribers. It's really aggravating. And it's probably just me. I just don't know how to do it. So. Anywho. Thumbs up. Learn something new. Get out there and enjoy nature. Enjoy life. And uh, play the what if game. And uh, stay on top of your game. We'll see you next time.